For some time there is a problem with iNav that from time to time when you save the settings on iNav, the iNav restores to defaults. There is an issue on the iNav GitHub issue tracker with dozens of replies of the people that experience exactly the same thing. You are doing something with your flight controller, you hit save or you type save in the CLI, reboot and all your settings are gone. For the first or the second time in my history of knowing that this might happen, it happened to me today. And I think I know exactly why it happened and I was able to pin down the reason why it happened for me today. Bear in mind, this is my experience my problem and my reason why my settings on the field were just erased because i pulled out the usb-c plug too early for some time i was expecting that the reason of the flash erase is happening when the process of saving configuration to the EPROM is interrupted before the checksum of the whole configuration is written to the EPROM. because we do not in inav store only your configuration but only the checksum this means that one of the bytes one of the bits of your configuration is just wrong and your whole configuration might be compromise we are able to compare the expected checksum with the checksum we got during the loading process but what happens when you power down your flight controller before the checksum is written the checksum does not match and what INAV does when on the boot during the loading of the configuration it gets the data all the configuration entries you have uh, for your flight controller reads the checksum from the from the flash computes the checksum from the configuration it read and compares it to the checksum that is stored and the checksum is not matching it assumes that the configuration is invalid that the configuration is compromises and restores everything to the defaults and today i exactly know why the configuration was destroyed because i was in the cli making some changes i typed save and hit enter and although i thought that the flight controller already finished saving everything and is only waiting to the reconnect, I pulled out the cable. Turn out, I pulled out the cable before the checksum was persisted in the EPROM memory. But bear in mind, it not always have to be that you really like pulled out the cable. Anything that interrupts the process of the saving, even you can just hit this thing when the connection is not 100% fine. Or you have no idea how often the USB cables are just damaged and they are not connecting always how they should be connecting. So, damaged cable, USB plug not correctly in the, in the socket in the flight controller on anything that interrupted the process of saving and then reboot will cause the checksum of the stored configuration not to match what's really stored. And then the configuration is erased. And why it's happening slightly more often of the F411 MCUs than on the other types of the MCUs? Because F411s are slower. And because they are slower, it takes them more time to save all the data to the EPROM and to persist the memory. And then there is just a bigger chance that you internet intentionally or unintentionally interrupted the process and caused or something cause the EPROM to contain invalid checksum.